Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. And here we have Barcelona against Real Madrid. I'm Peter Drury and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Beglin. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. The lineups, we can have a look at them now. That gets things running. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, David Alaba, one of the most versatile players out there. He's just got so much positional awareness and intelligence. He can basically do a job anywhere on this pitch. He's got fabulous technique too, especially with his delivery in and around the area. He'll be eyeing up any set plays the opposition concede in that defensive third. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Christensen. Romeu. Pedri. Chouameni battles to win it back. Now it's Rodrigo. to get it forward quickly looks to slip it through Kamavinga plays it out to the wing passes it through Vinicius Junior gets up to head it he will be livid with himself well I think the early signs have been very good for them they've already got that defence on settle and now they've got to back it up Romeu. Ferran Torres. Araujo. Looks like a good ball through. Lewandowski. Now it's Lewandowski. Where to from here? Araujo. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Camavinga pumps it upfield. Rodrigo tries lifting it over. Promising cross. And out to safety. Out to the left it goes. Pedri. Lewandowski. Now it's Pedri. Nicely controlled. And it's Romeu. Oh, he's come flying in. Rodrigo with the ball through. Belly. With a really impressive run, which nearly went the whole way. Now it's Lewandowski. It's got through. Chip through. 
They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Who's going to make this theirs? Valverde pushes it out wide. Rodrigo. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Fran Garcia. And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. Away from immediate danger. Alaba. Now it's Lewandowski. Tries a through ball. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Now the pass. Lewandowski. And the ball's come out! No complaints about that challenge. Robust, but fair. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Alaba goes long and forward. Kamavinga pumps it forwards. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Chouameni. Now it's Rodrigo. Now it's Bellingham. Now it's Valverde. Oh, he's broken through. Marvellous goal! Look, there are always tactical adjustments for any coach to make at half-time, but when your star man gives you a critical lead just before the break, everyone will be paying extra attention. It really is the ideal tonic. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Real Madrid take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Oh, that's neat. Petri shoots! He's done very well to get to that. That wasn't the... And the whistle goes for half-time. Barcelona find themselves trailing and not having the best of outings, so it calls for a collective effort now of fighting spirit and a show of pride, just to sort things out. Start of the second half. Barcelona need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Speculative strike. Oh, and they really should have been made to pay.
Rafinha passes it through. Rafinha. Kamavinga knocks it towards the front. Gavi. Now it's Rodrigo. And it's Kundawa. Played out to the right. Gundogan, and now the finish, he's got away with one there. I love to see a team closing down from the front like that, and I think they did brilliant to win it back and get the shot away. Not the ball he wanted. Christensen. Ferran Torres. Chouameni comes sliding in. Lewandowski. Swept in. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, that's, that's true. And is that how you're seeing it? Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. He's got the ball, he's got the space. Barcelona get it back again. Araujo boots it upfield. And he's certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Oh, that's a booking, always looked it. And the players are flocking round their fallen colleague and they look worried. Rodrigo plays it out to the wing. Gundogan. Gavi. Fran Garcia. It's gone for a throw in. Valverde gets it back. Kamavinga. That's a throw. Now it's Rodrigo. He goes long. Vinicius Junior. Lovely feet. Gundogan. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, they may be down, but they're far from out. In terms of... Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Gavi. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, and if they're going to try and stop him in this fashion, Peter, um, they're going to really test the referee's patience from here. Kunde does well there, alert. Vinicius Junior. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Clears it out of harm's way. Fran Garcia. Kamavinga, cut out in the nick of time. And it's Gundogan. It's a long forward pass. Gavi, Lewandowski. Rafinha, Lewandowski. Lovely bit of skill. Yeah, it wouldn't have been the most eye-catching goal we'd seen. Ultimately, the numbers prevented him from scrambling it in. Ferran Torres. 
Well played, he saw that coming. Looks like a good ball through. Well, flags up, he must have been offside. He may have been caught offside, but that's his game. He plays on the shoulder of the last defender and, and hopes to time it right, Peter. Back to the keeper and tries something new. Gets it upfield. He's made sure that that won't get through. Ferran Torres. It's a decent ball. And he's on his way! Oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. I think that defence will be feeling mightily relieved now. They were really saved by some poor finishing then. Alaba. Keeper's got good distance on that. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Gundogan. Tries a long pass towards the front, and he's shown him a clean pair of heels. He scored! Dying minutes, and we're all square again! Rarely outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Oh, that's excellent composure, because the keeper put as much pressure on as he could by not committing sooner. Real Madrid have a sub ready to come on. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Rodrigo, Chouameni, with officials showing that there will be three minutes of added time. It's offside, yes it is. Chouameni, Alaba, Chouameni, all the way back and they start again. There is the final whistle. A game chock full of moments and talking points. It could have gone either way, but chose in the end to share its spoils. It ends in a highly entertaining draw. The end of the game. Reflections. Yeah, I think the first thing to say is that the draw was about the right result. It had everything you want in a clash of this nature, the commitment, the passion, great ebb and flow to the game, and I think everybody can go home with a, a little bit of satisfaction from this. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me, and we'll both see you next time.